Our Communist Party and the 8th Route and the new 4th Armies led by our party are battalions of the revolution. These battalions of ours are wholly dedicated to the liberation of the people and work entirely in the people's interests. Comrade Chang Tzu Se was in the ranks of these battalions. All men must die, but death can vary in its significance. The ancient Chinese writer Su Ma Xian, though death falls before all men alike, it may be weightier than Mount Tai or lighter than a feather. To die for the people is weightier than Mount Tai. But to work for the fascists and die for the exploiters and the oppressors is lighter than a feather. Comrade Cheng Zhu Te died for the people, and his death is indeed weightier than Mount Tai. If we have shortcomings, we are not afraid to have them pointed out and criticized, because we serve the people. Anyone, no matter who, may point out our shortcomings. If he is right, we will correct them. If what he proposes will be the benefit of the people, we will act upon it. The idea of better troops and simpler administration was put forward by Mr. Li Tingming, who is not a communist. He made a good suggestion which is of benefit to the people, and we have adopted it. If, in the interest of the people, we persist in doing what is right and correct the wrong, our ranks will surely thrive. We hail from all corners of the country, and we have joined together for a common revolutionary objective. We need the vast majority of the people with us on the road to this objective. Today, we already lead base areas of a population of 91 million. But this is not enough. To liberate the whole nation, more are needed. In times of difficulty, we must not lose sight of our achievements. We must see the bright future and pluck up our courage. The Chinese people are suffering. It is our duty to save them, and we must exert ourselves in this struggle. Wherever there is struggle, there is sacrifice, and death is a common occurrence. But we have the interests of the people and the sufferings of the great majority at heart, and when we die for the people, it is a worthy death. Nonetheless, we should do our best to avoid unnecessary sacrifices. Our cadres must show concern for every soldier, and all people in the revolutionary ranks must care for each other and must love and help each other. From, from now on, when anyone in our ranks has done useful work dies, be he a soldier or a cook, we should have a funeral ceremony and memorial meeting in his honor. This should become the rule, and should be introduced among the people as well. When someone dies in a village, let a memorial meeting be held. In this way, we express our mourning for the dead and unite all the people.